Lavanya Balal, spokesperson of the Congress Party, Mohan Krishna of the BJP. Welcome to you both. Good to have you on the show. Let's go straight first to Lavanya. Lavanya, you know, on the 13th of August, you know, when Veer Savarkar posters began emerging in Shivamogha, one would have thought that it's a, you know, it could be just a random event because one sees this kind of thing. It's, you know, Independence Day week and things like that. But the events over the last 72 hours have shown that there appears to be a political design to it. Because Veer Savarkar books are being distributed. Uh, you know, we've reported how a road has been renamed after Savarkar overnight as well. Clearly, Savarkar is a political tool right now ahead of the elections. Uh, you know, your leader, Mr. Siddharamaya, came under attack yesterday as well on this. Good evening, Shiv. Absolutely, you are right. It is a political design. I will say this because from the August 13 onwards, if you look at the systematic way, BJP has been inciting the people in Karnataka and uh, CM Bommai's uh, failure to appeal for peace. And also on August 15th, if you look at all the print ads that came out, there was Veer Savarkar's photo without Nehruji's photo. This entire thing was designed by the BJP to keep Mr. Savarkar in news right now, BJP is using Mr. Savarkar as a distraction from their administration failure. With elections just seven months down the line, BJP has nothing to talk of in terms of administration, in terms of development. So that is why they are bringing in Mr. Savarkar as a distraction. And mm. the attack on Siddharamaya Ji, a former CM and the CLP of the Karnataka state shows how weak their law and order system is. Yes, the attack happened multiple times yesterday and today. After the Home Minister has given a statement last evening that there will be um, strengthened uh, security for the CLP, he goes to Chikmangalore. And what happens? There is a repeat of the same incident. Yeah. This Home Minister has been a failure. Time and again, he only comes up and says, OK, we will, uh, you know, um, ensure that henceforth these incidents do not happen. But look at it. His own people had garroured his house and demanded that he resigns. Their own party workers are not safe in Karnataka. Okay. And time and again, you will see BJP coming up and saying, oh, Mr. Uh, Sidharamaya Ji, pardon SDPI. Our question is in the last three years when they were in power, why didn't they ban SDPI? What have they done to ensure people who have died in okay. the last let's, uh, let's take this one. Let's take this one issue at a time. We'll come to the PFI SDPI issue also in just a moment. Mohan Krishna, you know, this is answer that same question. The, the I let, let's be very clear. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with Savarkar being a political, you know, tool or a debate or a conversation. All that, you know, is you know, chalta hai in Indian democracy. But why suddenly in Karnataka, sir? The Congress is accusing you of this being used as a diversionary tactic. Why is Savarkar suddenly coming up in Karnataka in so many places? Well, good evening, Chef. Chef, one thing I would like to mention to you. Savarkar is a soft target for, from the Congress side. The bigger target is Hindutva and Hinduism. That is their target and they are targeting that. We are standing for their Hindutva and Hinduism and we will stand by for that forever. Let me tell you, this is not a design, as Lavanya was saying, that in the Independence Day advertisements also, the caricature was given in such a beautiful way to give a creative nature to, to Nehruji and Sardar Vallabhai Patel, Lal Bahadur Shastri, and Lex, uh, Rani Lakshmi Bhai also. Let me tell you one thing. In Canada, we say, in Canada, we say, yellow eyes, always see yellow eyes, yellow things only. That is, jaundice hote na, jab jaundice hote, tab jo bhi aap dekhte hai, sab yellow hi dikhte hai. Isi liye to mai bolta hu, Congress ko itna hi dikhte hai, ki kaun, Karnataka mein, ab saavan kar ka issue le. But, but sir, but, abhi, but, abhi, but, abhi, 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 I, I, I take your point, I take your point, I take your point, I take what you're saying, Mohan Krishna, but I'm saying that, you know, Savarkar has suddenly come up. I, it, it has come out of nowhere. You know, usually you hear about Savarkar politics being played out in Maharashtra, maybe in the national capital as well. Why in Karnataka suddenly? Let, let me tell you, Shiv. It is, not, it is not in Karnataka for the first time it is happening. Savarkar issue is happening from right from last 15 years, in fact. When Tipu Sultan issue, Sridharamaya propagated mm. as the chief minister, there was no Tipu Sultan JNT earlier. If you have observed it, 
after Sidramaya became the chief minister, just for the appeasement of the Muslims, he always he want, he wanted to do that. And there is one more one more thing I would like to add today. Sidramaya is a very bad guy who wanted to who is against the science of the Mysore. He is against the science of the Mysore uh, chief. So for that matter, he wanted to make Tipu as the uh, not Wadayar family or Mysore Sayan family. He wanted uh, Tipu as the uh, I mean hero of the Karnataka. Okay. And unfortunate, very unfortunate. Let Today me, also, let... even even day before yesterday, when he was talking, he is talking that Muslim area. What can anybody who is no? We've asked that question. Would... We've asked that question. But but a uh, bit Lavanya, you know, the 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 face off is being structured as a nationalist icon versus you know a divisive force, someone who slaughtered Indians, you know, a bigot. Muslim appeasement, that is what this face-off has become in Karnataka. You know, because Mr. Siddharamaya has not helped things by making that comment earlier during the, uh, you know, the poster showdown by saying one should not put up such posters, uh, you know, in Muslim areas. And therefore, he is under attack in this way. I think Nalapad answered this question when he yeah. uh, explained what Siddharamaya ji meant by that. He said, why do you give space to unnecessary provocation? Having mm. said that, you know, Shiv, I would like to bring one thing to you know, or the discussion. Mr. Savarkar in his book writes about rape as a political tool. I, as a woman, I will always question people who claim Savarkar as an idol. Is this okay for an idol to propagate rape as a political tool? That is my question. Second thing, and I will stick to this point. Tipu Sultan Jayanti was celebrated, Mr. by former CMBSY, Yadurappa Ji, as well as by uh, uh, Jagadish uh, Shetter, right? Uh, just uh, Jagadish Shetter. So the question is, what does BJP stand on these two leaders celebrating the Tipu Jayanti? We have celebrated the Kanaka Jayanti as well. We celebrate multiple Jayanti. We are for an inclusive society. My question is, why is it that the BJP leaders and the BJP party workers are always angry, always agitated, always upset, always in a victim, uh, you know, they have this victim mentality. What is it that the BJP is taking to the elections. Elections are just seven months down the line. What yep. are they taking as, you know, their achievements in these three years? We would like to know that because okay. they have no answers for achieve, their achieve, administration yep. achievement. Yep. This is used, yep. be, yeah, answer being that. used it's as a, a legitimate question. And distraction. Uh, answer, uh, answer, answer that. Uh, you can answer the multiple questions she's asked. Yes, Mohan Krishna. Let me tell you, BJP is on developmental path. We, we, we talk only development activities. Mr. Modi came and inaugurated around 3,600 crore worth of projects. And we have given Bangalore 17,000 crores urban, uh, urban uh, uh, train, which was pending from last 25 years. Let me tell Lavanya, we have, we have given peripheral ring road also. We are, we are giving metro extension up to Silk Board Junction also to curtail the traffic activities. We are giving in developmental activities back. So she's saying, why are we talking about Savarkar at all then? Shouldn't this be the conversation and not Savarkar? Shouldn't that be the priority and not let Savarkar versus you, Tipu is the question? Let me tell you, Shiv. Let me tell you, Shiv. For Congress, they don't have anything to talk. They don't have anything to talk. Their leadership is a failure in central, at central level, at state level also. They are infighting with DK Chukumar. They have infighting with MP Patel. They have a list of chief ministerial candidates today. They have a list of ministerial candidates also today, even though they have not come to the power. For them, for them coming to the power is the only issue. Let, let me tell you today on this show today, it is not possible to come to the power without winning the hearts of the people. BJP is winning the hearts of the people. Okay. It is not Savarkar. I told you Savarkar is a soft target. Savarkar is a soft target. The bigger target is Hinduism and Hindutva. We will fight for that. And Congress will never come to power until and unless they realize that they are doing the biggest mistake in their life. Lavanya, I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you have the last word. The BJP yeah. says this is the Congress and its own diversionary tactics over a soft target. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a it's a rhetorical argument, but you can answer that. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, well, uh, Shiv, I would like to say, with all his, uh, you know, statements that he's making, he's making it very clear that BJP, his administration has failed. He's basically saying Congress is more no, powerful in the state, that. though we are you, in the opposition, you, and sir, they, are us, sir, to, sir, they are failing to uh, ensure that the sir, law sir, and order speak. is maintained in the state. Look at the tenure of Mr. C.M. Bomai. It has been uh, marred by one incident or the other. It has not been a peaceful tenure that in Karnataka when C.M. Bomai was there. I'm so sorry, Mr. Kongress. Why do you act so childish? Mr. Bomai, I will not answer. We are short of time. Let Lavan finish your point. I will do the same thing to you, sir. Mohan Krishna, sir, I will do the same thing to you when you are responding. I will yeah, keep your point. talking if to you. you. We can make it a shouting match always. or we can make no, 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 it a debate. No, no, no. You can, Please you do can not do get personal. No, no, no. Let, let's, let, we're, all, we're almost out of time. 30 seconds left for uh, Lavia. Thank you Please. so much for your uh, time, Shiv. And I will reiterate the point. This is just a diversionary tactic. And this is because the BJP has failed as a uh, government in Karnataka. Okay, I'm, I'm going to end the debate there. We'll have to see where this goes because it's pretty clear that Savarkar has become a dominant metaphor and a theme going forward. But the point is there are most certainly bigger issues. This is not to say that the political conversation, the attacks being made are not part of the democratic process. But is there a question of priorities as well is another question that we will be asking at the end of this show. I promise you. Thank you, Mohan Krishna and Lavanya Balal for joining me on Five Live. Now, remember, on the one side,